I start in the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. I bear witness there is no divine, no power, no authority, no protector other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I bear witness that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is Allah's messenger. And uh, today we're going to discuss something very interesting. I'm sure you've all seen in the Quran, it's um, Quran repeating itself. And so many times Quran repeats itself. And one may start thinking that Quran is repeating itself because, um, you know, Quran is just filling in space. Or why repeat yourself? Repeating yourself would be a flaw, right? And so we're going to take a, a look at one part of the, one part of uh, something that repeats itself in the Quran, a, a verse, a, a a theme that repeats itself in the Quran five times and we're going to look at the four verses over here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in all of these verses okay قُلْ سِيرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ ثُمَّ انْذُرُوا or فَانْذُرُوا okay so in one verse ثُمَّ انْذُرُوا then see or observe and the rest of them قُلْ سِيرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ فَانْذُرُوا قُلْ سِيرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ فَانْذُرُوا قُلْ سِيرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ فَانْذُرُوا so three times قُلْ سِيرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ فَانْذُرُوا and one time قُلْ سِيرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ ثُمَّ انْذُرُوا and then انْذُرُوا meaning to see and to observe is followed by kayfa and kayfa and kayfa and majority of the times kayfa kana except one time kayfa bada'ul khalq okay meaning they sound very similar qul siru fil ard thumma anzuru qul siru fil ard fanzuru qul siru fil ard fanzuru qul siru fil ard fanzuru and the endings are different right so in one place kana aqibatul mukaddibin kana aqibatul mujrimin and then kayfa bada'ul khalq ثُمَّ اللَّهُ يَمْشِي النَّشْأَةُ الْآخِرَةِ and then كَانَ آقِبَةُ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِ كَانَ أَكْثَرَهُمْ مُشْرِكِينَ So what we find here is, you know, that when we are reading Qur'an, a lot of times we may feel like Qur'an is repeating itself. Maybe it's just to make it, you know, more rhythmic and it's just using synonymous words. This is not true. Qur'an never uses synonymous words. If Qur'an is using a different word, then it has a, diff a different purpose to it. And this is a longer discussion, but <coughs> my only point is to demonstrate <coughs> that when we hear the same verses being repeated, even, even, <coughs> which of your Lord's powers or, uh, or favors and bounties do you deny? It's repeated over and over again, not just for the sake of poetic reasons. But because each time the subject is different or the audience is different. And so I'm going to demonstrate that with the following verses very quickly, inshallah ta'ala. Okay. So um, let us take a look at inshallah ta'ala. What we're going to start with is a very simple question. Is it a command? Qul siru fil ard is a command. Travel the earth. Now those people, ha people have to know that you have to understand what is the intent of Qur'an. Why, when the Quran said, Qul siru fil ard, travel the earth, right? Why did the companions and the Prophet ﷺ not start just traveling the earth? It's a command, right? I mean, aqimus salah, establish the salah is a command. You got to do what the Quran says. But no, because sometimes you have to understand that even though it's a form of a command, their understanding of that command was that it is, uh, it is travel. One is the physical traveling, that if you're doing it, then you can have that intention of following these verses. But primarily it was travel through seeing what you have observed in your mind. For example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Alam kayfa fa'ala rabbuka bi ashabil fil. Do you not see how your Lord has dealt with the people of the elephant? Or hal atak hadithu Musa. Did you not see how this did not the story of Musa alayhi reach you? Meaning they knew the events of the surrounding areas. Okay. What happened to Ad, what happened to Thumud, what happened to Musa? These information was already there. And so they just had to focus with their mind and see with their mind. Even though Fanzuru literally means to observe and to see. Okay. Uh but I'm not gonna go into that right now. So let us start with something very simple. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the room says, Awalam Yasiru fil art fanzuru. Do you not travel the earth and then observe? Kaifa kana aqibatu ladina min kablihim. What was the result of the people before them? Kanu ashaddu minhum huwa. So over here is the fifth verse. Okay, this is the fifth verse, and it's in the beginning of the room where instead of which is what we've been looking at, right? 
travel do prophet sallallahu say to them siru fil ard travel on the earth over here is a question alam yasiru fil ard do they not travel on the earth fanzuru and they not see kayfa kana aqibatu alladhina min qablihim see the result of the people before them kanu ashaddu minhum quwwah wa atharun atharu al ard they were stronger than in power and more they had more landmarks that they had left but the verse that I really want to focus on right now is the following. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Rum, قُلْ سِيرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ Say, O Prophet sallallahu said to them, Travel on the earth. Travel the earth. قُلْ سِيرُوا Meaning in your mind, travel. فَانْزُرُوا And observe. فَانْزُرُوا كَيْفَ What was كَانَ عَاقِبَةُ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِ What was the result of the people before? كَانَ most of them were pagan worshippers. Most of these civilizations you find, like the Mayan and the others, right? That you will find that they're idol worshippers, right? Most of them will be idol worshippers. And it's very interesting because this is in which surah? Surah Rum, right? And in Surah Rum, what were the Romans? Romans were essentially pagan worshippers, okay? And so you have this link. But why does it say aktharahum mushrikin? Most of them are people of shit because the subject here is so the subject here is you'll see shurakaikum you know uh yushrikun yushrikun mushrikeen okay shuraka right and uh and and in the next uh surah قُلْ سِيرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ this is Surah Al-Ankabut قُلْ سِيرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ travel the earth فَانْزُرُوا كَيْفَ بَدَاءُ الْخَلْقِ see how the creation was original how it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala started the creation then Allah, after creating a creation, creates a new creation, right? In Allah, ala kulli shayin qadir. Allah has the power to do all things. Why? Because in the previous verse, Allah subhanahu wa taala is talking about why? Because Allah is talking about the day of judgment, and because the day of judgment is there, and the issue is how will we be raised again? How will we come alive again? كَيْفَ يُبْدِ اللَّهُ الْخَلْقَ ثُمَّ يَعِيدُهُ أَوَلَمْ يَرَوْهُ do you not see how Allah starts a creation and starts it again, right? You see a leaf that's dead, and then you see the tree coming back to life in springtime, and the trees are back there. You look at your own body, your dead dead cells are dying, new cells are being made. So this process of, of this cycle, life cycle, is always going on, right? And so the discussion here, because it is the Day of Judgment, so therefore the ending is based upon that discussion that's happening here, compared to where... The people that do shirk was being discussed in Surah Al-Bum. Okay, then you have the same thing being repeated in Surah Al-Namal. Qul siru fil ard, fanzuru kaifa kaan aqibatul mujrimin. Travel the earth and then see and then observe what was the result of the people that were mujrimin that denied the truth. Very quickly, mujrimin are those people. the The subject here is the favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to human beings, the, the signs of Allah, the favors of Allah, right? Uh, who made the earth a stable place, and made the rivers go through, right? So the subject here is the signs of Allah, uh, and then uh, the one who will provide you in the heavens and the earth, right? So those that deny the ayat of Allah, the signs of Allah, the favors of Allah, they are? Mujrimeen. This is why the discussion here is, uh, the ending here is, The same is, قُلْ سِيرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ فَانْزُرُوا كَيْفَ كَانَ عَاقِبَةُ الْمُجْرِمِينَ Then you have the next verse, <coughs> which is in Surah Al-An'am. قُلْ سِيرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ Travel on the earth again. ثُمَّ ذُرُوا كَيْفَ كَانَ عَاقِبَةُ الْمُكَذِّبِينَ over here, one difference is over there, over here, thumma, then see. Why? Because the discussion, the audience here is the people of Makkah. And they're being given time. So instead of fanzuru, 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 as it came before, here is thumma, then we will see. What is the result of those who deny the truth? This comes in contrast to specifically those people that denied the truth. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, those people who made fun of the truth, okay? Okay, you're making fun of the deen? Okay, then see what's the result of those people who denied the truth, who made a lie out of the truth. So my point here is, and by the way, all these four verses, somewhere around it or before it is the word Rahmah, okay? Like you hear, you have it in the next verse, right? And in 
Same thing with the other verses of the Qur'an. When Qur'an seems like it's repeating itself, it is actually not repeating itself. The, 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 the few words that Qur'an changes, or how Allah, it sounds that it's kind of repeating itself, but using just some different synonymous words to make the same point. No, those different words are not just synonymous. They're there for a purpose because of the audience that is being discussed, or the subject that is being discussed, because of that, the words are different. Even though it seems like it's repeating itself, it is in fact not repeating itself. Now, there are verses in Quran that do repeat themselves, and that will be a discussion for, but there are very few of them, obviously. And um, so, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to appreciate the Quran and to realize that every word Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says has a purpose. And when it sounds like Quran is repeating itself, it is in fact not repeating itself. Traveling the earth is a command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But it doesn't mean that you physically have to necessarily travel, but you do have to gain wisdom and spiritual insights by traveling and from your travels of the earth and from your knowledge of what others have traveled of the earth, you have to gain spiritual truth, spiritual knowledge, and spiritual understanding with that. Inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide all of us. Pray for me and inshallah. Uh, let's pray for all of us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us and protect us and uh, um, and show us the straight path. Ameen. Allahumma ameen. Thumma ameen. Ya Rabbi. Let me also just end by saying please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Make sure to subscribe today and make sure you like and make sure you leave your comments and ideas. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. أشهد أن لا